Ecuador's former president Rafael Correa appeared before Ecuador's consulate general in Belgium, where Rafael Correa currently lives, in order to comply with the precautionary measure requested by the judge Daniela Camacho after being linked to the payment for the alleged kidnapping of ex lawmaker Fernando Balda which took place in Bogota in 2012. Corral supporters have said that it is a political persecution. We are talking about a prosecutor who is accusing and trying to involve Rafael Correa in a criminal proceeding, a prosecutor that hasn't been sworn in, an interim prosecutor, which is a position that doesn't exist in our law. Therefore, there is nothing legal in this case and it has to be dismissed. According to the judge's decision, Rafael Correa must present himself every 15 days to the General Secretary of the National Court of Justice. In response, former President Rafael Correa denied any connection with the Balda case and said that there is no evidence of his alleged involvement in this event and that he is being subjected to political and media persecution. The judge's decision has generated mixed reactions. With his presence in the consulate, the requirements are met. I think demanding that someone travel across the world to appear in court for three minutes doesn't make much sense. Balda's defense team has accused Correa of being the mastermind behind the alleged kidnapping, and his lawyer has said that he will request a preventive detention if Rafael Correa fails to comply with the requirement to appear in the court in Quito. Insisto. I insist that preventive detention cannot be used as a way of anticipating a guilty verdict. Balda was charged for conspiring against the government. In October 2012, Balda was deported from Colombia because he had been in the country without sufficient documentation, and then he was deported to face one of the charges against him. Denise Herrera, Telesur Quito, Ecuador.